Um, so yeah, I done the DNA ancestry test. So when it came up, forty percent Nigerian, and then all these little bits and pieces, seven percent Chinese, a little bit of white in me or whatever. You know? And the other day I was thinking about this, and I don't know if it was a coincidence. I was at one of my tenants' houses. He's a white man. He was on the phone to someone, and I was thinking to myself, you know what? As a black man, and ask yourself this question right now: If you are black watching this, do you know who your great, great, great grandma or grandfather is? Because I don't. As black people, we do not know who our third great grandma is or our third grandma. I.e., we don't know who our great, great, great grandma is. I don't. I know who my grandma is. I know who my great grandma is, and that's it. I know who my granddad is. Obviously, different sides of the family and shit. But put it this way: I only know up until my great granddad. That's it. White people, they can trace their ancestry back to the twelve hundreds. Some of them. I was at this white man's house the other day, and he's on the phone to someone. So anyway, I'm walking around the house with his son. His son's showing me around the house and I overhear his dad talking on the phone. So when I, when the dad came off the phone and I was like, you know what? It's amazing that you can trace back your family to the 1200s, he said. He said, yeah, his family's originally from Yorkshire up north, north of England. White black people, we cannot do that. We cannot trace our family back past three, four generations. Maybe some African people, maybe, maybe if they're lucky. But as Caribbeans, Jamaicans, we can't do that. We can't do that. And obviously, it's, it's, uh, it's due to slavery, unfortunately. That's probably why we cannot trace our ancestry back. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. I would love to know who my great, 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 great grandfather is or grandma is. I, I want to know whose seed I, whose bloodline I descend straight from. Now, fortunately, due to social media and obviously, me being from Britain and I'm on birth records and that, my great, 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 great grandchildren will know who I am. Yeah, because obviously, maybe because of YouTube, maybe because of my book, maybe just a coincidence because obviously I'm on the birth records and DNA and such. And but luckily they will know who I am. But I don't know who my fifth generation, sixth generation, tenth generation great granddad is. I don't know. That's the worst thing about you know. That's the that's that's one of the um bad things about slavery and that obviously there's worse obviously you know what happened to the people then but that's one of the bad things about slavery we just can't trace our ancestry back because obviously we were taken from somewhere and dumped on an island or dumped in america or whatever in it or in brazil or whatever in it and then yeah just got lost in translation man uh, so yeah white people they uh, imagine that we're in the year 2020 and a man can trace his ancestry back 800 years you can get four generations per century, you know. So in a hundred years, you can get four generations. You can have a mum, yeah, she can have a daughter, then her daughter can have a daughter, and then her daughter's daughter can have a daughter and that. My neighbor, my neighbor, she is a great grandma. Yeah, she's only 75, so what? What's that? Her that's, that's like three, four generations there, whatever, isn't it? So yeah, we black people, we can't trace our ancestry back past about three generations. White people, they can. Yeah, white people, they can. Uh, well, since I mentioned um, slavery and that, I might as well talk about the victim mentality. So white people, white English people, they don't really have a victim mentality, uh, partly because they can't pull that card. Uh, black people, uh, we have a victim mentality and we use it and abuse it. It's an excuse for failure. Let me tell you something right now. You're a black person watching this in the UK or America. I don't know about other parts of the world, but if you're in the UK or America, there's opportunities for you. Go and fucking find it. This is why I wrote, this is why I jumped on YouTube, yeah, to write my book. Yeah, I've almost finished reading it. I've got about 70 pages left to read. And then, then it will be officially out, ready for people to buy it. If you're a black person, you can make it. You can make it out of the ends. But it starts with wanting to get out of the ends. Stop using the government and slavery and the police as an excuse for failure. Yeah. You control your own fucking destiny. Yeah. I'm the fucking proof. That's why man jumped on YouTube to show people that you know what? You can come from the streets and that. Because 
I mean, some people won't really buy my story if I was just like some nerdy guy and hadn't lived that lifestyle. My man lived that lifestyle. A man can't tell me, oh, you can't get out of the game, fam. You can't. You, a man just don't want to get out of the game. Yeah? It's so easy. Just move area and, and cut contact with your, your people, them that you, you, you used to move with. That's it. Yeah? Just move area. You know, man, I still on post so a man don't leave their area. Innit? So move area and, you know, start afresh or whatever. Innit? So anyway, black people complain about the victim mentality and that, innit? and this, this card is overplayed and that. This ain't the 60s or the 50s and that. There's opportunities for black people. Maybe it was harder back then, but it ain't now. It's easy. It's too easy. Yeah, you you don't even need to get a job nowadays. You can fucking become a YouTuber and make money. You know how much black man on YouTube or black people on YouTube making money? Just change shit. Man like King Riches. What are you saying, man? Man like King Riches in the building. You know what I mean? See, like, you see, uh, it's a course here. My man watched it and I said black YouTubers making money on YouTube and King Riches has popped up and that. But yeah, you got black people on YouTube making money. Just chatting. Yeah? Just chatting. Don't tell me there ain't no fucking opportunities for black people. Yeah, it might be a, a tiny, tiny little bit harder. Maybe I'll throw that in there. But in the grand scheme of things, it don't make no difference. It don't make no fucking difference. Um, so, so, someone will, so I will say black people, they'll pull the victim card and that. And someone will throw that back at me and say, well, they've never been vi uh, subjected to uh, oppression and slavery and that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about Jewish people? Yeah, oh, yeah, better Jewish people got killed during the Holocaust. And we don't hear Jewish people complaining, you know. Blood, they just get on with it, you know. Maybe amongst their community and that, maybe they talk about what happened maybe but you know what whether they're talking about it or not they're getting on with it black people are talking about it and not doing nothing about it fam. when there's bare opportunities bare opportunities but man don't want to get on with it because it's easier to blame the white man so yeah white people yeah they, they can't pull the victim card like white english people now like, they can't pull the victim card and that because they were never really victims or anything but at the same time jewish people were and they they just got on with it yeah go to stanford hill yeah them not all thriving and prospering yeah they got money they might not look like they got money trust me they got money trust me they man they own all the properties in stanford hill most of them yeah. 